Hey everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA, and we're here in Palos Verdes, California. We just built this beautiful monster koi pond, and uh, we decided to do something that was really innovative, creative, within the bounds of sustainability, and I'll explain it to you. Uh, we got called and there was this hole in the ground. Homeowner attempted to do a, a waterfall. Called us, our website called us and said, hey, I'd like to do, love your stuff, love to do some work with you. And so what we did here is we built a, a waterfall. Uh, actually, it's a waterfall and it's also a koi pond. And the interesting thing about the koi pond, we disturbed the water so it's not, it was crystal clear this morning, but we just finished with this. Uh, just putting uh, a few plants in today and uh, we put the pump at the bottom and it pushes it up to the filter. We used a Pro Eco Products pump, uh, 4750 gallons per hour and it creates this flow. Now, uh, the up here in Palos Verdes, there's so much rock, Palos Verde stone, that just about everything you see here was actually on site. So guess what? We didn't have to truck it in. It didn't have to come in from another state. We used local stone. I would say this is the most sustainable koi pond we've ever built because this is all here. It just had to be dug up. So in terms of sustainability, this thing really rocks. So we were able to use the what was here native stone to build it. It's called Palos Verde stone, by the way. Um, another interesting feature about this is that we, we made it deep for corn. However, there's a more shallow part over here, and that's gonna be for plants. So it's uh, just absolutely gorgeous. And you can see here to the left of the koi pond, there's actually like a natural uh, patio that was built, we could say, millions of years ago with uh, when this part of the earth was forming. Now, here's an interesting point. It seems that pond water is some of your most nutrient-rich water because koi excrete ammonia. Ammonia is the fertilizer base for plants to grow and thrive. And so what if there was a way that you could take that water, bring it to plant roots, plants could take the nutrients out, and then you could send the water back to the pond. Now it would seem like a win-win situation. In fact, it would seem like a miracle. Let's say you could t grow tomatoes and lettuce, cucumbers, tomatoes. I mean, in a virtual grocery store in your backyard in a small space and do it with pond water. Well, guess what? We figured out how to do this and we did it with the inclusion of something called, or we'll call it the food grade uh, vertical gardens. Follow me and I'll explain the situation, or, or explain the methodology of what we use. Okay, so here's a view of the pond you know, looking down. A beautiful pond, little natural patio over there. Now we have a secondary pump over in the shallow part. It's a Pro Eco Products 1750 uh, pump. And what it does is it actually pushes water into each of these vertical gardens. What we have here is we have uh, the water that comes in from the pond. It shoots up a tube that goes up here. And you can see right here, that's pond water. That's nutrient rich pond water. Nutrient rich because it actually uses pond water fish waste as its nutritional, uh, the nutritional uptake. So what happens is it goes in through here, there's a little gate valve to control the flow, and then it drains through here. And it drains into an underground manifold that goes back to the pond. So guess what? This will actually produce food. I'll come back a month from now, you won't even see the tubes. It'll be filled with thick greenness, food, peppers, uh, uh, peppers, arugula, I mean it's just got a whole bunch of stuff. Now we put vines down here, we put uh, cucumbers, we put tomatoes, and so the idea is these vines are going to grow and cover and they're going to twine around this area here and create a food wall with tomatoes and cucumbers and other vines and this whole wall will be filled. We'll come back in about a month or so and you'll see what I'm talking about. But we put three of them in 
and then they get fed by pond water. It's the best of both worlds. Pond water is liquid compost. Now you probably have heard California has, is having a drought. Let me set the record straight. California has been in a drought for hundreds of years. Cal Southern California is a desert. We pipe in about a billion and a half gallons of water every single day. So it behooves us to conserve water. Our best source of water in Southern California is conservation. This, instead of water going into a vegetable bed and then losing it, it actually recycles the same water over and over and over again. So we uh, looked at the statistics and we'll save about 95% water usage having this type of a vertical garden that recycles water. We'll save 95% of water over a traditional organic soil uh, gar food garden. So it's amazing technology. We're just happy that we're, the drought and necessity has actually made us um, have uh, 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 the innovation to do this type of, of technology. So uh, Mike from Enviroscape LA just sharing our latest project with you. This is um, about the middle of the year in 2014. Mike from Enviroscape LA signing off when you think sustainability, Thank Enviroscape LA.